So this line is still still has pressure. And I have the mass module disconnected. Like when I cranked it when it started for a second, I had the mass module disconnected. So there was no fuel pressure added to the system. So uh, still, ever since I opened this, it had this pressure. It's crazy. There's still pressure in there. It's a lot less now, but oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna swap this fuel distributor. Another fuel distributor is installed. Mass module is removed. I'm about to jump the pins one and two to activate the pump. I just want to see how this thing is doing. Okay, I just activated the pump. And let's do it one more time. Look, we already have fuel coming out through here. Okay. So that's a good sign. And then we're gonna check to see if we have fuel coming out of that guy right there too. Running. Let's take a look. Hmm, nothing. Range. Maybe this distri distributor is dead too. I guess I was right the first time. I was kind of thinking that it's something with the fuel pressure regulator because like the fuel has to circulate, but it wasn't circulating. There's something inside of this or this line. I don't think it's this line. I think it's something inside the fuel pressure regulator that's causing that stuff. So yeah, very strange. Mm -hmm. I came to the conclusion that it's this EHA valve that's bad. I just took it off and I checked to see if there is any, you know, liquid on both sides, but there was gas on one side, nothing on the other, bone dry. So I'm wondering if this filter is just clogged up or I don't think anyone has messed with this adjustment to, you know, close this EHA valve completely. So yeah, it's been a really long night. I'm gonna continue tomorrow, but I just think that I'm stupid. So I put 1.5 gallons of fuel in the tank and I think it's still pretty empty. So maybe that's why, that's what's causing all the problems that we're having with so much pressure buildup because it's pulling air and fuel at the same time. I don't know, it's like, it's hard to say, but I'm gonna go get more, maybe two, three more gallons of fuel, dump that to the tank and hopefully that's all that it needs to run because we have spark. All right, guys, so the next day, got more gasolina, like three gallons. We're gonna add that, see how she does. I just think it just need, needs more gas. That's what I think it needs. Okay, guys, we got fuel. Just gotta purge it a little bit from all the garbage that may be in there, so. But we got fuel. <laughs> oh, almost fell. Thanks to that little guy. There we go. Oh man. Finally. It's crazy. I guess I was just really tired. But I put like two gallons of gas. I thought it was going to be enough. But I guess it wasn't enough for it. So it was just building a lot of pressure and then air with fuel, so. Let's put everything back together and start this amazing machine. Not sure what I would do without this Cuya Rafael, but he's helping me get those uh, 
line started on the distributor because I just suck. I can't work anymore. It's crazy. So he's a li he's a lifesaver. <laughs> you just gotta pause sometimes. Yeah. Okay, we're finishing up tightening all the lines and we're about to start this amazing machine after all this work. I'm excited. Hold on a sec. <laughs> you can probably do it from the window if you want, it's up to you. Oh, or, yeah. I was thinking if I, you know, I need to uh, step on the accelerator. Oh, I can step from here, if anything. Yeah, because it's got the, the cable, okay. okay. Hold on a second. All right, ready when you are. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I know it's, I should have moved those boxes. Ready? Yeah. What is it? No, hold on. Try again. Okay, hold on. You want to use the big charger? No, it's good, it's good. I just have to reset it every time. Okay. Here? Yeah. Huh. That Try that again from there, if you can reach. Ready? Yeah. Yes! Okay. Signs. Hold on. Hold on, reset the battery. I think it's ready to start. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I know it's. What was that clinking sound? The uh, the tools, I think, yeah. Okay. There's some tools here. All right. One more. Clear? Yeah. Hold on. Try okay. again. Okay. okay. It's done. getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> it's getting there. Come on, baby. It could be a little flooded, I don't know, but, but we'll see. It is, it is. Is that a leak? Yeah, I think the HA is leaking a little, but it still should start. Okay. Or it could be from me, like when I was doing the test there, there's still residual. Time? Yeah. And try to put some gas once it starts. Okay. Okay, try again. Release. Oh, fuck. Mm. It's running. Do we have enough electricity? What is this? The air intake sensor. It's not really that yeah, important. What is this? That's three. Two or three? One of them. This should be three. I think to the right is to be richer. Yeah, but I think it needs to be richer. Okay. I think. Okay. We'll try that. One way to find out. Let me, hold on. Try again. Yeah, let's uh hold on. Let's try one more time starting it like that. Hold on. Go for it. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. Let it sit for a little bit. Actually, yeah, try one more time. It's dead now. Let go of the key. Ah, why does it keep dying? Okay. Yeah. Try that again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it die? electricity? We'll try again this time. Try it again, Rafael. I disconnected that. Yeah. No. Oh, this is loose. Was it? This one, yeah. I hope that's the only uh, reason. I mean, it was clicked on there, in there. But you heard it. Did, Did I? You okay, it? okay. Click. Fair Let's enough. Let's try it. Just watch the uh, battery once it starts. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Clear? Clear. Nope. It didn't. Oh, because, wait, do we have to... Did we turn it on? Uh, it's turned on. <laughs> it's not on. It's not, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Stupid. <laughs> no, you're good. I was like, I don't hear any, like, <laughs> buzzing or anything from it, you know? Uh, where's the power? I mean, I think it's... Oh, wait, is this... Switch oh, on. Okay, it should be. Ready? Ready. There you go. Uh, it's not strong, huh? That's strange. Hold on a sec. Put it, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll tighten this terminal. Hold on. Let me okay. just tighten. Ready. It. Ready. Told you it was the. Thing. Yeah. Hold on. It was loose. Start it again and I'll put some gas. Maybe don't put gas just now. Hold on. I think we're flooding it. Okay, it's flooded. I tried to add some money. Yep. I'm just not yeah. doing it. Just let it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I tried the both EHA valves. This is the original one. It's leaking. The other used on one is leaking, so now we're gonna install the brand new one. Yep. Three hundred dollar part for this car. So yeah. Uh I need brand new EHA valve in this car. So Crazy, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I gotta, I gotta do it because it's 
That one's 40 years old. This one's also 40 years old, so I'm gonna install a new one. What does a new EHA valve look like? Brand new. Pretty crazy. Brand new EHA valve. Look at that. Check it out. New EHA installed. New O rings. New bolts. New EHA. Yep. And these are two old bad ones right here. Big wheel. Let's try it. Charger's on? Mm, yeah, should be on, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Here. Hold on. <laughs> There's some piece of garbage here. Yep. Okay. okay. Yeah, try one more time. Twelve point four still. Okay, so there was this uh, rust, a little bit surface rust. I, I used the rust dissolver, cleaned it all up and touched it up with paint. And then I took off this rear wheel because it has a nail in it somewhere that I saw right there. So I'm gonna take that out and fix it. I have the plug right there, the tire plug. Just gonna do that. And then at the same time, I'm just gonna Inspect a few things here. I know it needs some stuff here and there, but shocks. And the spray fluid film here. Get some areas, axle boots are still okay. Yeah, this is pretty good. I'm gonna spray fluid film right here on this mount. Rear brake pads, yeah, those are needed. I didn't realize that before. So this will need to get done at some point for sure. Shocks, this one, I mean, it's probably been leaking for a while. But definitely original, but yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Mainly, I just wanna, I need to clean this rust too. So this will, but mainly I need to take care of this uh, nail. If it even went all the way through, I don't know. I'm about to check. I pulled that screw out and uh, it wasn't too long, so I guess it didn't go all the way through. I'm not seeing any leakage, so that's good. So the filter looks like it's brand new. <coughs> and uh, yeah, so the filter was replaced, looks like. So that's a good thing. Um, and as you can see, I've sprayed fluid film in a bunch of places here. I actually don't want it on the rubber. I'm gonna wipe this off. But uh, yeah, mainly all these subframe mounting points so it doesn't rust out. Obviously, yeah, I know I should clean the dirt first off, but it's gonna be okay. Not bad. Also, according to the records, um, they also replaced the mounts for the differential. It's gonna be hard to see. Let's see if I can get it. There's one mount right there, and then the second one. So those were actually replaced, which is nice. I gotta fluid film this area a little more. Also replace these uh, exhaust mounts right here. More fluid film. Also fluid filming this area. 